Hey, what's up everybody? Shannon from Warthog Overland, and we have a new addition to our Jeep family. Meet Thunderbolt. It's a 2022 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon Eco Diesel. Man, I cannot put it into words how much I love this Jeep Gladiator. I'm getting 20 to 24 miles to the gallon. I keep throwing stuff in it, loading it down and nothing's changing. I was pretty lucky that this purchase came with the factory steel bumper and it had a winch because I did buy this used but I brought it home with only 4,600 miles on it. So, can't believe the guy didn't like it. I love it. Thanks for the winch. Lighting. Yeah, I really like my lighting. Amber or white lighting, but mostly the amber. My bumper, I couldn't find myself spend money on big name brands like Baja Designs or all the other ones that are thousands of dollars. So I went with the Amazon version. They're 90 watts, they're seven inch. They look like LP6s, but they're actually seven inch lights. Air spot, flood combo in amber. And they do just great. My pillar, I went with the aux beam four inch. And those are floods. And then up top, I'm running a Rough Country Black Series single row light bar. Now for the rear, I do have chase lights. They are just an Amazon brand four inch chase light with 72 different patterns and those work out just fine. Now for the lift, man, I have been going down rabbit holes for months. I did go with the Clayton package, two and a half inch Overland Plus lift. Two and a half? Yeah, I was a little skeptical on that. I really wanted to go three and a half, but down the line, I didn't want to be messing with drive shafts. And I went, didn't want it too high because Michigan trails, trees are pretty low out here. So, pinstripes are in the future. Comes with steering from Curry. Got a Falcon adjustable steering stabilizer. And I got Falcon 3.3 adjustable shocks. At first, the shocks were a little stiff, but now that I've put some miles on it, man, I love being able to dial in the settings. I went ahead and installed the metal cloak reinforcement brackets just to be safe. Since I was tearing into it and everything was clean underneath, might as well just get it out of the way now. The wheels and tires, you're running black Rhino barricade 17 inch rims. The negative 18 offset gives it a little poke. For the tires, running Mickey Thompson Baja Boss ATs. These are 37 inch by 12 and a half by 17. Love these things. I get a lot of people asking on what these are. These are actually limb risers. These help when we're going through tight trails. The brush and limbs, they just kind of go up instead of smacking the windshield. Oh, and I actually forgot. That panel on the hood, that is actually a solar panel. It's a 50 watt panel made by Lensun. I liked it better than the other one. Don't remember the name of the other one, but it was only 30 watts or something and it didn't come across the whole hood. Now for the side steps, man, after we lifted this thing, I was having a hard time climbing in and out of it. And the first thing my wife, Jamie said, you better get some steps. And sure enough, everything for the Gladiator is a thousand bucks. But I came across these. These are made by Fishbone. They're around 400 bucks. 
and they are a body and frame mount. I did lose on the factory rock rails, but I'm still just excited to get a rock slider step that mounted to the frame. Now when it comes to bed racks, that is another research rabbit hole. I have YouTube racks, looked at cheap forms. Everybody has their preference. Me, I really wanted the trail racks with the gold wing doors. That was the one I wanted. Unfortunately, I believe I got the last one. They discontinued this line. Why, I don't know. Probably because of their price, but they discontinued it. They're sold out. They still have some accessories. But the rear door is almost half the price of the actual rack, which kind of ridiculous. But hopefully they'll go on clearance or something. Once it gets dust on it, they'll sell it to me for cheap. For the rack, yeah, I have recovery boards. It's mostly for snow. There was plans for a rooftop tent. Again, I'd buy a pop-up trailer for the same amount as a rooftop tent. So I settled with some cases. One of them stores all our recovery gear. The other one stores whatever we want. Let's take a look on the inside. Up top, I'm running a 4K mirror dash cam. It's a 2K in the back. And then my Anvil Overland dash bar. Warthog has one of these and that was one item that my wife said you cannot have. So I had to get my own. They offer plenty of mounts. I have my GMRS Midland radio mounted, phone mount with a RAM holder, GoPro mount, and then I have a separate tablet mount. Definitely need a tablet. I am navigationally challenged and I need every possible thing running to tell me where I'm going. Underneath Thunderbolt, I do have rock lights. Tied them into the bed lights, so that way I could, didn't have to use one of my switches. Love it. All I have to do is when I open the door, rock lights come on, so I have some view of the ground and when I'm stepping in, and I can always hit the bed lights on if I want to use them as on all the time. And for those of you that have subscribed and been following, we did not get rid of Warthog. We still have Warthog. My wife, Jamie, decided she wanted to keep that, so we traded her car in for the Gladiator. We've already taken the roof rack off of it, the awning, She's ready to make it hers. Charity has a soft top picked out. She wants to take the doors off and put tube doors on it for the summertime. Just put her own little touch on it. So, no overlanding for Warthog anymore, but here's Thunderbolt. Thanks for watching. My name's Shannon. This is Warthog Overland.